Now we are in the northwest province of South Africa because we are at Harties, which I, if I'm going to try to see if I'll get this right, but I've got someone who'll correct me if I don't get it right. But we are at Hartbysport, sort of. I probably butchered the name, but we're about to go up a cable car and go up a mountain. And now I'm going to introduce Mi Michaela to tell us more about Harties. Welcome. <laughs> or should I say thank you for having me? Thank you for having me here. Or oh, welcome to the show. Which one whichever, whichever works. <laughs> whichever one works. You, okay. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about uh, Hearties. What what is Hearties for people who've never been here? Well, it actually started out as a small village okay. where people that lived in Joburg and or stayed worked in Joburg and Pretoria and all these big cities around us stayed here to get some tranquility away from the city life and so on. But with all the people wanting to stay away from the city, it has actually developed into a very decent small town. Okay. We don't have everything like a mall with a cinema and ah. so on. So we only have shopping centers and AP can pay and A checkers. Right. But we all The cable car open to the public. When when was that set up? Cable car started in I think about the 1960s, but we renovated it in 2012. We got bought over by a company-owned company called yeah. Zago Docks. Okay. And we were shut down for an entire three months to renovate it completely. Wow. So before our renovations, we literally had a ice cream shop at the top and the cable way, nothing else. And now, I mean, now from what I hear, there's lots more. There's, there's a couple of restaurants. Two restaurants, okay. a bar, an ice cream shop, a little informational walkway around the mountain, yeah. a play area. On weekends, we have um, live entertainment, face painting. Oh, good. So we try and pull all types of markets in from we have Boma Bryce to high teas. Oh, um, nice. Um, so we t look at it at every angle because it's we are actually situated on one of the oldest uh, mountain ranges in the Mahalis area. Okay. And funny enough, our mountain range is well known to the Bura War because this is where the Impis used to throw the English off the mountain to kill them. So you're actually on a very historical site as well. Who was thrown off the mountains again? Well, this is part of a very historical site. Yeah. From the Bura Oerloch. Okay, so which so, is the Bura War. So, so one group of people would throw off other other people from off the mountain. Yes. Wild. So it was basically a mass graveyard throughout the the war. Oh my goodness! Well, that's uh, that that that's an interesting piece of history. So now you know <laughs> as well. So, yeah. So so about Harties, I I noticed on our way here that there is a big mass of water, like a dam. It is. It is a dam. It's unfortunately it's a man-made dam okay. from I think. 1930s wow. um, but it actually used to be a huge open area there are certain houses that were not flooded but right. as the dam was built it just stayed in the dam okay, okay. so there are some underwater houses <laughs> and everything Harties is starting to be a little bit more interesting. Hearing more mass graveyards, underwater homes, flooded. Yes. That's so wild. So would you say the two main activities or attractions here are the dam and the cable car? Definitely. Oh, beautiful. Definitely. So what should I expect about the cable car experience? Well, it takes approximately seven minutes from where we are standing to the very top now. Okay. Um, we do have a slightly steeper incline where it takes you over a rock face. Okay. That if you are scared of heights, it might might just be a little bit nerve wracking. Scary for yeah. Me. Now, from compared to the old cable cars that we have to the new gondolas that we have created, it is a huge difference. Right. Where the old ones were open air and it wasn't, it was not not safe. Yeah. But it was it's not a as safe as, as safe it, it is, is now. now yes. <laughs> We still have the regulations, don't swing the car, don't stand up, right. just for everybody's safety. Yeah. But you're going to take the trip all the way to the top, and you're going to get off at the station where you'll have the 360 restaurant underneath you, right. a little curio shop, the lookout bar, which is on the very edge of the mountain, yeah. the Dasi Loop, as we call it, which is the walkway around the mountain with the information the, plocklets uh, and everything. Like a loop, yes. which I think I heard about that, a loop. All right. And okay. then we have three different viewpoints, which we actually use as 
viewpoint the dam and so yeah. on now we often have proposals or Aww. anniversary picnics on that we do like that and then at the very peak of the mountain we have the pizza shack okay yes. all right and how much is this take experience to have this experience for adults yeah. it is 210 rand per person so that's about i want to say like between a thousand five hundred and two thousand shillings which isn't bad given that you have Experience and I can only imagine what the view of the dam and the land looks like from up there. Definitely. And right. remember, you can see everything from Hardebeersport to Brett to Sun City, all the way to Joburg. Tisa, we just came from Sun City. What? Okay, so I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's go, Michaela. No problem. Let's go see. We made it! Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the top. Even though at some point someone was a little scared. I'm not pointing fingers, but she's behind the camera right now and smiling. But she wasn't smiling when we were in the cable car. <laughs> we made it up and it was such a cool experience coming up the cable car. But what's even better than that is this view. Look at this place. It's exquisite. My goodness, just the rolling hills and the water out there and then the patches of you know, like land and, and then homes and roads. It's so beautiful. And I can only imagine what it looks like at night. Lights coming from the houses and there's the moonlight bouncing off of the water. It must be a view to reckon with. All right, so here at Harty's, there's something that they call the Dassey Loop. And I want to check it out because the guy did say we have to, we have to go around it. So come on, let's go. Wow, my goodness. This feels like something out of, I don't know, Greece or Rome. It's, it's beautiful. So there's these little like cards every, say, five me meters or so. And they have fun facts about this space, this place rather. This one is about Pretoria. Now, Pretoria is South Africa's administrative and national capital. And a fun fact here is that their main street in Pretoria, which is Church Street, is the longest urban street in South Africa. It's also one of the longest straight streets in the world. It just keeps getting better. Note to self, do not sit on the wall, which is tempting for a quick selfie, but let's not break the rules. <gasps> paragliding. It looks like you can do paragliding here as well. come across an interesting one. This one is about Johannesburg and it says Johannesburg is one of the biggest cities in South Africa and the largest city in the world without any natural bodies of water. And here's something that you might know and that is Johannesburg is nicknamed Igoli which means place of gold. Of gold. Do you guys remember the show Igoli place of gold? I, I do. And I just I saw something that I want you to see. Come take a look. This says, one minute, don't read, don't talk, no photos, just look and see. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today's show. I hope you loved it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to come and visit South Africa because this place just is it's full of hidden gems. And every time I come here, I unlock a new, a new adventure, a new adventure. And I love that. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. I'll see you at 8 a.m.
And remember, remember, it's okay to take in the moment and have a minute and enjoy it and just commit it to memory every once in a while. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.